what's up everybody, um, I'm the Tutorials Guy here. Sorry about the lack of videos in a while. I've just been really busy with um, school starting, you know, that kind of stuff. And, um, but finally I'm gonna come at you with my second Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This one's gonna be on muzzle flashes. So, um, um, first what you're gonna have to do is um, get your raw footage. So here's the footage from the movie I'm making on the other channel. Um, and so he's shooting about three muzzle flashes. And he's getting closer as he's doing it. Um, but what you want to do is first it's um, first you want to get a muzzle flash from Google Images. Same muzzle flash we use for um, the iMovie tutorial on this. You can see that on my channel. So I'm gonna get the front one. Where is that? Front. No, come on, but these are good side ones. Um, this one, that one, that oh here. So there it is. Let's go back to Final Cut Pro. And well, wait. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay. I don't need that. Um. Keep the music. So, find the f well first. Go. You can use your keyboard to go frame by frame. Find the frame that he shoots. And this gun made a little sound when it's shot. So, then put that right there. And then we can just shorten it. Um. Yeah. Not very good yet. But. Um. And then the next step is to. We just find the video effect, go to keying, and do Luma Keyer, and just drag Luma Keyer to it. You probably should have done that before you shortened it, but voila, here's um, your muzzle flash without the black background in it. Um, so, you can just, and you can always just, you know, adjust this kind of stuff, just to, in case if your Luma Key doesn't look that good, but, you know, just... Do whatever you want. Um. So now, let's see how that looks. Now you're just gonna click this little button right here and resize it to the. Well, that's about the right size. And rotate it. Doesn't really matter, but and just uh, put it right where you want it to be. Okay, that looks about good. And then, next step is to is to have the sound effect, which um, on Final Cut Pro, thankfully, on like iMovie, they have a bunch of a lot of gun sounds, sort of like gunshots. Yeah, let's go to weapons. Let's see weapons, weapons, weapons. And I'll just like <coughs> that's gunshot. <coughs> So find, go on until you find a, the right one. So this one looks good. Let's try to see how this looks. Okay, that looks about good. And then you can just keep doing that until you have your finished product, which um, um, your finished product should look good a lot better than it did in iMovie. And this just takes a lot quicker and faster. I mean, quicker and faster. What am I saying? Quicker than iMovie because it you don't have to do any of the other stuff that you that you have to do. Now all you have to do is loot key. Um. So thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. I know this one was a short one, and hopefully I'll get back on the schedule my schedule for more frequent videos. And, um, also I got offered, so, oh, I got offered so that I can, I might be able to earn money off my YouTube videos here. So I think what they do is place ads next to my video 
and I'm, I'm not sure, but I think what they do is like place ads on my channel, and whenever somebody clicks it or something, I get like like a little bit of money. But I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I think it is. So that's exciting. Um, and now, thanks to my, as of now, I have um, thanks to my forty no, it's like thir thirty seven subscribers. Yeah. That's what it was. Thanks to my 37 subscribers. Um, I'm aiming for 40 in the next week. So if you can, just do that. Um, if you're new to this channel, you just watch this video because you need some help. Um, I do iMovie and Final Cut Pro tutorials, Final Cut Pro 10. Um, which is this little thing and this. So, and a lot of people also have been wondering this what I use for my screen recording. I just I use QuickTime Player, which I just do file, and then do screen recording, and then you can turn on the microphone, um, but and then you can just click that. But I'm not gonna show you that right now. So thanks for thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to comment below if you created this effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Make it as a video response, and also sorry I'm rambling on, but just comment below. I think I already said that. Tell me what you think, and please subscribe to me. So, bye, guys.